Hi, we're talking about uh, how to train our bodies for God. Now, in this day and age, there's all kinds of training packages, training kits, videos, um, uh, things that you can order that they do on TV. You can go to a gym, you can have a trainer, you, you get advice uh, from a, a good doctor, a sports doctor, or a doctor that knows you well, uh, who can help you. These are all good things. There are a few things, though, that um, need to be discussed, and they should be consistent. I believe um, that what our doctors tell us should be consistent, because with the way that the Holy Spirit works, any good trained doctor should see, if he's a good doctor, if he's dependable and he knows his, his work, he should see how our health is developing. Um, so it doesn't take a Christian to identify how the Holy Spirit is working. It takes someone who is properly trained in your field to understand how things are going. God does leave the final say up to us. Our doctors try to help us to sway us to do as they were trained. Yet, ultimately, uh, the Holy Spirit only knows how things are going to develop. Sometimes doing what a doctor says is good for a short period of time. Eventually, we need to move to uh, a larger pot of soil so our, our roots can grow more deeply and stretch out. And that's all accomplished by us doing what we think the Holy Spirit has for us. And that works itself out through our spiritual gift. All right. If we go back to the Ark of the Covenant, originally, according to the original text, God gave the spiritual gift. It takes a spiritual gift to move, know how to move the Ark of the, of, of the Covenant successfully. And that's a very physical thing to do. And God gave that gift to the priests. The priests were the only ones who were, who God enabled and blessed to be able to know how to um, transport it. They had to hold it by the handles. They had to lift it, and they 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 had to walk it. And that's how God intended man to move the ark. The purpose of the ark of of the covenant in the first place is that man wanted to feel as though he was close to God. God never intended the Ark of the Covenant to be a tool of war. So when Israel went to war, or I, we should say when the Philistines engaged in battle with Israel, they took the Ark. One reason why they took the Ark is because they realized the Ark meant a lot to Israel. It had something to, to do with God, and it had something to do with Israel's belief that they could win the war if they had the Ark of the Covenant. So God enabled the Philistines to steal the Ark through war. The uh, Philistines didn't keep it all that long because 
wherever the ark went within the Philistine cities, bad things happened. Plagues and uh, wherever they set the ark, the uh, statues of the false gods, the uh, limbs of whatever the material was that they used to build these creatures that the Philistines uh, were, were uh, worshipping, the arms and the legs and the, the head fell off of them. Only the torso was left, uh, according to scripture. So, in the end, the, the uh, Philistines wanted to get the ark back to Israel. They didn't want it anymore. They, they realized there was something awesome ab about the ark of the covenant. Um, so, they were instructed to place it on a new cart along with a box, and inside the box offer some uh, sin offerings, uh, sacrifices, uh, just to, as much to say, God, we're, we're sorry, you know. I don't know, they didn't, they, they didn't know God, only God knows what they know of them. Scripture tells us that they certainly reverence God. We don't know any more than that, though. There could have been enough experience from that that some of them believed in that God, in our God, the God of, of the heavens. Yet, they still wanted to get uh, rid of the ark. God had placed a horrible curse on them, and they got rid of it. Uh, as soon as Israel got it, they danced, they were happy. The Bible says that uh, at least 70 people were killed because they wanted to examine the ark. They wanted to open it up and look inside. When King David wanted to transport the ark back to the house of David in the city of uh, Judea where he was at, God said, originally, the only people who could move the ark, they had to have the spiritual gift to physically move the ark. That was not an option. And King David was a, a man of war. He was a, a man of God and he was a man of war. And he was faithful to, to God in all war. So King David did not look back and see how he was supposed to transport the ark. The ark had been through a war, a lot of time had passed, and the uh, connection for that a spiritual gift was required to move the ark had gotten lost. And so King David had it transported. Uh, during that time, the, ox, the oxen stumbled, the uh, scriptures say, and Isuzu, a, a, a man of uh, King David's team, reached out to stabilize the ark, and God killed him. Well, God wants us to respect him, to reverence him. And things happened in such a way that God saw that was an irreverent act. So, God killed him. Uh, one would have thought that King David would have known to use the priests who were skilled, who had the, who were supposed to have the spiritual gift, and to know how to properly transport the ark. Somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do. So, uh, ultimately, when King David's final attempt, after such time, they set the ark at. Uh, a family's house and over a period of a few months when God be began blessing this household then God's then that was God's way of saying that it was in safe hands and everything was all right so King David went and he had it transported properly from that household to the city of David <clears throat>